Hello everyone, and welcome to All Together Gaming, a place for everyone to game together. As promised this morning, we are going to be opening some Zendikar Rising. Let's get to it. Straight up, there should be a box topper in here <clears throat> right off the get that has um, probably something pretty sweet in it. Plan to open about a third of the box today. Um, I want to trickle trickle it in with a few other things coming on or going on over the next few days. So um, let's see what is inside here real quick. So we do have our box topper. Ta -da -da. Let's slide this off to the side. So box topper. Let's see what that is right out of the gate. We're going straight for the box topper. Got these little. Sealed. What is it? What, it, what could it be? What could it be? And it is a. Bleak Cleave Cliffs. Enters the battlefield can uh, <clears throat> tapped unless you control two or few or lands. All right, all right, all right. Well, put that our box topper. Force and rising out of the draft pack. There still is two more boxes coming. There is a. <clears throat> A collector and a um, set. So this is a draft box. And this is what we have so far. Yeah, let's just grab. Get here, my dog. One, two, three, four, five. It's uh. So we have a blank modal. Well, these are all in reverse from the uh, pre-release pack I opened. So we're going to get our land. Whoa. Yeah, foil on, or yeah, foil common. And then Mall of the Skyclaves as our rare. All right, so modal card is Song Mad Treachery. What do we have on the other side? Song Mad Ruins. All right, I do like the modal cards. Give that its stack there. What do we have here? Lowell Mage's Familiar. Lowell Mage's Domination. Negate classic magic right here. How can you not just want to counter a target creature smell? And now we are into the common cards. So. <clears throat> Core Celebrant. I was, <laughs> I was expecting a little more out of this on stream the other day, but... That still seems like it's a fun card to play with. And then we have a Fissure Wizard. Expedition Diviner. And Necropot. Tormenting Voice. As an additional cost to cast this spell, discard a card. Draw two cards. Let's get on to the next pack. This needs to go with these guys. Oh, my green screen's got a gap right from the dog. All right, so we have a token. Beautiful looking forest. And then Forsaken Monument. I was actually very much looking forward to getting one of these. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is going to go great in a Morphon deck 
Um, this is going to go great in anything colorless, Eldrazi, uh, um, or just even anything, uh, uh, Tron, uh, uh, Warburg, anything that is just insane amount of need of mana, this thing's going to help you get there. Um, I love this card. I like the idea of this card. I like them leaving the Eldrazi off um, Zendikar this time, but still giving a little homage to them uh, with this legendary artifact. I really, really love this card. Good pull right there. So, what do we got next? Spike Field Hazard as our modal. Spike Field Clave is the land there. So, Marusa Root Grazer. I got tore up as everyone. If you didn't see, I did get tore up by a couple of these on on stream uh, doing a sealed event. These things are dangerous. Uh, landfall can get really out of control really quick. All right. Seagate Colossus. Sky Dancer, Shell Shield. There are so many interesting cards in this set. Like, they just kind of it, it. Some of these cards kind of make it hard to read where they should fit on the curve or, or what, <clears throat> what what exactly what role they fit. There's there's ones that stand out obviously like Disenchant, right? They do this thing. But you'll have other cards that kind of have like a little kicker, kind of gives them a multi-purpose thing as well. And they they could either bomb or not bomb. That's the that's the thing is like they're some of them are super situational, um, but end up in the right situation. And, and one of these common cards can just absolutely rip and tear apart your opponent. Another blank for the modals. Great full art looking island there. So our rare is a Arc Priest of Iona. I think we opened one of those earlier as well. Alright. The modal card is a a Bay and Veil. Creatures your opponents control get minus two, minus zero until end of turn, or a land, which is a enters the battlefield tapped. <clears throat> there are a few good lands in this set that are dual lands. They essentially operate as dual lands. They are they all end in pathway. Um they one side is one land, a one color land, one side is a different color land. They enter the battlefield untapped and they can go straight away. I think these, <clears throat> I can't wait to see if any of those show up, but um, those are those, those are things that you want to see. Rolling regrowth, that seems like it's really a good, nice card. We're going to kind of get through some of these. Um, Seems like it's a pretty good card right there as far as curve-wise. I mean, a 3-3 three, three for 3. I uh, wish it had a little uh, an activated ability or something to it. Mesa Lynx. It's kind of weird trying to figure out standard right now. I try to stay away from what's, I guess, quote, meta. Um, and just play whatever seems like it's going to be fun. I don't. I, I love combo-y stuff. I love janky stuff. I love like a. <laughs> I don't know if like mechanic abuse is meta or, or what. I I don't know. But like abusing landfall, I would just love to just see a turn where like ten triggers come off of a landfall somehow. Um, I feel like that can be done pretty easily with something uh, like in historic, especially uh, with like risen reef and um, ooh. I love the showcase art. I don't really care what. Uh, what uh, rarity of card it is. Showcase arts are always fun. 
Um, yeah, anyway, it doesn't like like uh, Zendikar's Royal and our, I think that's what it is, and uh, Risen Reef, like if you combo once with, with Landfall now, like that's going to be some crazy stuff going on. Let me know what you guys think of of these these cards, Zendikar Rising so far. Um, what do you what do you guys think about set rotation? Um, what do you guys want to see for some future content? Do you want to see deck building episodes? Do you guys want to see um, <laughs> combo we jank building kind of things? Um, as far as as far as prize mailing goes, I'm literally waiting on the postage scale to come. Um, and then it'll be off to the races. The account's all set up. Everything's ready to go. I'm just waiting for the, 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 the USB scale to come so that way I can start printing the postage and start sending everything out to everybody. So please be patient with me. I am trying to get there. It's uh, The USPS right now is, in, is not in the greatest of states. Mountain. I like the full arts. They are nice. Ooh. This is was uh, the same creature that is the box topper creature. The Hierophant. Hierophant. Um, seems like you could do a little something with it if you got, got going. Don't know, though. What do we have here for the modal? Instant target creature you control. Fights target creature you don't control. I like that. It fits in with a lot of cards from Ikoria. The standard is going to be a lot like... Seems like this standard uh, is going to be pretty aggressive with with some things. Acquisitions expert. Spoils of adventure. The spell costs one. Man, the party mechanic. I really hope that there's enough stuff to get that going on, or at least that it get, does get support in future sets adding to standard as well. I, I do feel like there are going to be other sets coming on uh, forward that do have the ability to add to the party mechanic um, without it being just a, uh, a Zendikar thing. Really, just because all you have to do is tack on warrior, rogue, mage, or wizard, or whatever the party character's characteristic is to Fisher Wizard <laughs> Living Tempest A Tempest must be just that On to the next pack and Creature Token Drake More just delicious looking full art lands here. Ooh, nice little squiddy squid squid action in the sky as our foil. And that is a Shatter Skull Charger. Kicker 2, Trample Haste. If it was kicked, enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter. I mean, so. 3 plus 2 to kick it, so 5 for a 5-4. A um, and at the beginning of your end step, if Shatter Skull doesn't have a plus 1 plus one counter, return it to its owner's hand. So it's almost like you have to kick it or at least find another way to give it a plus 1 plus 1 counter. Um, or if you can play it on uh, <clears throat> turn 3 and then kick it on turn 5, you're going to get double value out of it. I without having to worry about removal. Um, well, you still have to worry about removal, but kind of replants it to your hand. If you, and if you're relying on other things that involve, uh, you know, other mechanics that move, moving cards back and forth from your hand to the battlefield, then you'll also get triggers on that as well. So could be a good card. Our modal. Hair Tactician. Plus one, plus one counters. I like the counters. Whenever you cast a kicked spell, scry two.
when they're in the reverse order, it kind of makes it so you want to, <laughs> you know, like slow with the, 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 with the token and then quick with the rest of them. And here he's binding another, the, the story spotlight cards. I love these. It's kind of lets you know what's going on in the magic universe. They did just bring back magic story, um, which is fun. I do have a couple of the novels as well. Uh, oh, look, squid boy, non-foil. That's fun. And, oh, and a sizzling barrage. Token. Illusion. Another f nice, phenomenal full art land. And then a Thieving Skydiver Kicker. Ooh, X, X can't be zero. You may pay an additional X as you cast the spell. Flying when Thieving Skydiver enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, gain control of target artifact with converted mana cost X or less. If that artifact is an equipment, attach it to Thieving Skydiver. Nice. Shenanigans, shenanigans will happen with this card for sure. It is a blue card and involves stealing stuff. Shenanigans are bound to happen. The modal instant. Look at the top six cards of your library. Wow. Mind Carver. Sounds so fun to wear as a piece of equipment. Oh, Fastwood Surge. Feed the Swarm. I got myself in trouble with this on stream earlier. Sometimes, like a 7 CMC creature, you don't realize you're about to remove it. Yeah. I think this is a bit more for enchantment control on the, on black uh, creature wise. Seems like if you're trying, <laughs> if you're up against green, some of those creatures get to so big you could just use two of these and you'd end up killing yourself all the way out in black. So I would advise an enchantment removal only on these, unless small creatures are being pesky. Otherwise, find some other sort of removal. Would you stop? Kazim Royal Mage. I like the Royal. Seems like a... Everything I know about the planet of Zendikar, like very few people live there. It's just mostly adventurers, so... The whole planet has like this... The, the crust is like always like active and... It, if it's even a crust... Ooh, see another showcase. I like the showcase. It's sad that we only got them on the uh, the common cards, but art's art. You gotta appreciate it. It's four four big old ox though, with landfall. Well, that was it for this opening. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it as it always. I look forward to seeing you, seeing you next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.